Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So since we come into Target here, I wanted to check out some of the children's medicines. We get more and more comments on these lately on some older videos we've done. Looks like Target has a pretty decent amount here. The one we always get comments on is the children's Tylenol. Now, this has been an issue for us as well. It's been a couple months. We've been seeing more and more come in, but it sells pretty, pretty quickly. So when you do see it, you may want to pick up one or two just to have. But they are low on some things, but good to see they got the Tylenol in. They do have something here due to high demand. And to support all guests, we will be limiting the quantities of infant and children's pain fever relief items to two per guest. Thought I would check out some of the adult medicines over here. We did get a comment a while back of how someone could not find the low-dose Bayer Aspen. They do have it here at Target. Um, and Target's another option. That's part of the reason we come to Target. We're going to check out some of the food and stuff like that. But you got on some things here, they have... Uh, pain relief items by two or more get a free $5 Target gift card. It does look like they are pretty well stocked on Tylenol and Ibuprofen. Uh, this is probably the most I've seen here at Target in a while. Over the last couple weeks, we've gotten some comments on toothpaste. And now it has just gotten very expensive. Um, Crest, uh, they do have a good amount here. Some of them, wow, yeah, that's Scope. It used to be one of the cheaper ones, $3.99 now. Got a two-pack down here for $3.99. That don't seem like too bad of a deal. Uh, somebody was asking about Sensodyne. It does look like they're low on some here, too, but they do have plenty of Sensodyne. Uh, $6.99, yeah, that has gone up. This was $6.49 the last time uh, we checked for these. Um, let's see, and they've got, wow, look at this. The Pronamel here, $7.29. That is up from $6.99. So both of these have gone up in price since the last time I've checked. It's been a while, but it's definitely gone up in price. I usually buy these at Sam's Club because they're a much better deal. But somebody had mentioned that the Gillette razors have gone up. I don't know which one you were talking about, but this is the one I use here. I've got a very thick hair, so i got to use something that's pretty durable. This has gone up dramatically. $12.99 for these. These were $8.99 not that long ago here. Um, I checked. It's been probably, I don't know, about four or five months, but these were $8.99. Now they're $12.99. Looks like the razors for women. Uh, well, I don't know. Some of these, wow, $16.99 for this. This is the one that Jessica usually gets. I don't know if she'd be happy with me saying that, but <laughs> she's not here, so. I uh, notice I got a security tag on them now. Oh, that's funny. Um, $9.99, I believe this is the same price. I don't think this was much cheaper. I noticed that they've changed the advertising on them, though. Maybe they did that because I know these used to come in a plastic. Um, I noticed that with the Gillette, too. Those used to come in a plastic thing, too. Now it's just this cheap box. Uh, so maybe they've done that to keep the prices down. While I was over here, I wanted to check out the Pantene Pro-V. Been getting a lot of comments on this kind of stuff lately. This has gone up as well. These were $3.99 the last time I checked. Now, it's been a while, but $4.99 now. That's up a dollar. It's probably been maybe five or six months since uh, I checked. Um, we usually order these online now, maybe save a little bit of money. Jessica usually does that, though, so I don't really know what she pays, but I do know this is up from $3.99. So I, we've been getting a lot of comments that shampoos and soaps and stuff have been hard to find in a lot of different stores. And that reminds me, let's check the soap. Does look like they have a good amount of hand soaps. I remember like half a year ago, they were pretty much wiped out of soaps. And it's still, you can tell a lot of them ain't coming in or people are just buying the cheaper. Well, some of these aren't that cheap. They do have all kinds of hand sanitizer. Um, yeah, different prices here. Cheap soft soap here, 99 cents. Um, yeah, they do. Do got a lot more soap than uh, Meyer had, that's for sure. Hand soaps. Okay, so doesn't look like they have any dial soap. Again, we are right down the street from Procter and Gamble. Okay, no, they do right here. Okay, now okay, they do got it. 6.99 for 12 bars of soap, though. I don't know, we can find that a lot cheaper. Um, not sure, I don't think I've ever bought uh, dial soap here. 
don't know what the price was before seems I don't know, $6.99 seems a little high for 12 bars, but everything is expensive these days. Uh, I will say they have a lot more uh, bar soap like Dove and Lever, Irish Spring down there. Um, some of them on clearance. But yeah, they definitely have a lot more bar soaps than Meyer did the other day and a lot more other stores. Been seeing a shortage on soap lately. Found an interesting deal here on an end cap. Uh, different home care items. Spend $50 or more. Get a free $15 gift card with Target Circle. Save this offer in the Target app or at target.com backslash circle and scan wallet barcode. So I guess you maybe have to use the Target credit card. Not really sure. Or maybe just in the Circle app there. Excludes air care in the home department trial travel and clearance this is good until march 4th so good until saturday i will say if this applies to you though um if you can use this deal it's definitely worth it i see a lot of items here uh that are on this particular deal i see some uh super expensive charmin over here on this deal 30 rolls of toilet paper 30 mega rolls for $32.99. Sheesh. Um, we get a lot of comments on toilet paper kind of skyrocketing in price lately. Look at this. Eight super mega rolls, $14.99. $15. No thanks. So you can get the same exact thing of Cottonelle, which in my opinion is better toilet paper. 30 mega rolls equals 120 regular rolls for $25.99. Now that is up from $24.99. The last time I checked it was $24.99, now $25.99. So another price increase here at Target. They do have some new advertising. Maybe took less out of it to try and make it a little cheaper. $12.99 for 12 mega rolls here. But then right here they have 12 super mega rolls, which comes out to 72. Let's see the square feet on that. 514.8 square feet. But this is $17.99. Now, it looks like this deal right here applies to pretty much all the toilet paper and a lot of different home products down here. Looks like Target's own six mega rolls. What is this total here? This is 425, or wait, no, 283.3 square feet. So not too much. $5.99, but that is up from $4.99. And I noticed that the bigger one here, uh, this is $13.99. This was $11.99 the last time I checked. Now, it's been a while since I've checked some of the toilet paper here. But that's up $2. Up $2 since the last time I checked. It hasn't been that long. Maybe a, couple, maybe a month, month or two. Okay, so we had comments about trash bags. Target is not the place to buy them anymore. They have gone up again. They have gone up another dollar. Uh, and actually, they were eleven forty nine for these Glad Max Strength bags. Different ones here, Force Flex. They've all gone up to twelve eighty nine. These were eleven forty nine, which was still too high. Um, they've all gone up to twelve eighty nine. Like some of them have forty five bags. They're twelve eighty nine. Some have fifty. Still twelve eighty nine. I guess that's just the magic number for these. These 60 count of the Up and Up brand, Target's brand here, used to be $8.99. It's been a long time since it's been that, but I just want to point out, they are $10.39 now. For the cheapest brand you can get, $10.39. That does uh, use this card. This, it seems, there is a lot of stuff. I mean, you might be able to make this very worth it with this deal here, but you do have to get here before March fourth which is this coming saturday again today is tuesday february 28th 2023 so keep that in mind does look like all of these ziploc bags have gone up the ones that were 4.99 here are now 5.99 uh the other day i was at meyer and i remember the cheapest place that i had seen them was target but now meyer has these same exact ones for 4.99 regular price 5.99 here still part of this deal though so you could make this worth it add it into the mix Wanted to check out eggs here because our Target does have grocery, uh, which I've been told that a lot of uh, uh, Targets have been putting groceries in. Um, I like how they do this. Never seen a sticker like this at Target before. 
um, kind of funny that the first time I see ones here by the eggs, letting you know that they have dropped because these were these were very expensive a couple weeks ago. Two twenty nine now for twelve eggs. Good and gather eggs are good. I've had them. Uh, Three thirty nine for an eighteen count. So much better deals. This was over seven dollars at one time uh, here at Target, and these were four dollars. Uh, and I think they even got up to four thirty nine at one time. Um, these, you know, they've been kind of up and down in prices, but good to see them finally starting to drop. An okay regular price these days on the Oikos. Now this went up too. Okay, this was the cheapest place to get it for the longest time. It was three seventy nine. We saw it go up to three ninety eight, and now it's been four thirty nine for a little while. Some significant price increases on this one, but the one that has kind of stayed even keel here is Chibani. Chibani has been four sixty nine here. It hasn't gone up in price been going up everywhere else it's even gone up at walmart uh 529 regular price at kroger and, and that may have gone up we get a lot of comments on yogurt uh, especially Chibani. they do have a sale good until march 4th 2023 so this saturday two for eight dollars you do have to buy two of them but you it's basically like paying a dollar each for one of these four dollars a pack so they have their cauliflower here for $3.19. I gotta say though, it doesn't look all that great. Uh, here's one that has gone up. This was $4.39 for the Good and Gather uh, four kernels here. I pointed this out, it's been, a, it's been a little while, but I just wanted to show, $4.99 now. We've been seeing these go way up in price. I cannot wait until farmers start bringing in the, the corn and the husk. Right, so we can get. I like it like that anyway. I do not like buying them like this where it's been exposed. I would rather just buy it frozen or in a can. Um, I, I, you know, and you really don't know how long it's been sitting there either. Now, strawberries, uh, 99 cents a pound at Meyer for a pound of strawberries right now this week. That's a great deal. Um, 319 for one pound here, which is pretty high. 7.99 for two pounds of Driscoll strawberries though here at Target. That's the highest I've ever seen it. Um, I don't know. I want to. I was right around six dollars the last time I saw uh, two pound of strawberries here, but it's been a long time. Seven ninety nine. That's just. Oof. Oof. Well, I should have probably just stayed away from the produce. Um, prices were really good here for a while, guys. I mean, you know, um, five ninety nine for a three pound bag of Granny Smith apples. I don't care where you are. That's ridiculous. We've been seeing Granny Smith apples. Uh, way up in price everywhere we saw them three pound bag at walmart for five dollars and 94 cents so close to the same price here um they do have them at meyer for a dollar 49 a pound right now though so keep that in mind red delicious here three pounds 469 three pound fuji 499 yeah look at this three pound pink lady for 599 this is crazy honey crisp apples a dollar 89 each each well, when it rains, it pours, guys. Uh, a lot of these prices continue to go up on the ball mason jars. We've been getting more and more comments on these. These are up from $9.99, which they were $8.99 uh, for this size here, the 12 half pints. $10.99 now, so that's up a dollar since the last time I checked. These were $8.99. Now they are $12.99 for a 12 pack of these little ones here, uh, the 12 quarter pints. Does look like they've got the bigger ones down here. These should be over here, fifteen forty nine now. So, I don't know. It used to be the cheapest. It might still be the cheapest. I don't know. We need to look around though because these are getting very expensive now. So over the last couple trips we've been to Target here, we've gotten a couple comments from some new viewers and some of our older videos. So I wanted to point out, yes, we do like the Good and Gather cheese. It's pretty good, uh, two twenty nine. So. About the same price as it is everywhere, unless you're at Kroger. Kroger's is $2.49 regular price. Kroger's has a lot of sales on their cheese, though, sometimes, but $2.29 regular price is okay. $3.49 for Sargento here, so an okay regular price because uh, when it's not on sale at some of the other stores we go to, because we can sometimes find this like two for six or something, um, but regular price in most stores is $3.99. And somebody else was asking about Tillamook. Uh, $4.39 here, $4.29 at Meyer. So over the last week, we've actually gotten a couple comments that some people haven't been able to find the New York Bakery Texas Toast. Thank you to who had left uh, in the comments a couple different uh, recipes to make your own. Thank you for that. But I did want to point out that they are coming back in here at Target. They've been out of them forever. It's the first time I've seen. I mean, they've had like the breadsticks here. I haven't seen these here, but 
Um, yeah, as far as the garlic bread goes, one thing I noticed here is that these are still $2.99, but the ones with the cheese used to be $2.99 also, right? Like, if I had to choose, I would choose these. I do not like the ones with the cheese on. Look at that price now. Look, you can see, you can see the sticker below it. It was three, I, I don't know what it was. They haven't had it in so long, but now it is $4.59. So, significant price increase on the cheese, which I don't even think is as good as the regular. Just make the regular and put some shredded cheese on yourself. Probably tastes better. The Orita catastrophe has hit Target as well. $5.49 for the two pound bags of fries. This is an insane price. $5.99 at Kroger. So better than that, I guess. $5.29 at Walmart. That's been the cheapest we've seen them. We get a lot of comments on a ride of fries. Everybody loves our ride of fries, I guess. But $5.49, that's just way too much. I will say these have gone up too. These were $2.99. $2.99 after being $2.79 for not that long. Uh, $3.19 now. $3.19. So even the Target uh, Market Pantry fries are up too. I will say these waffle fries are really good. Somebody asked if I would keep an eye on bird's eye vegetables. We are always getting comments on bird's eye vegetables. And, yeah, I mean, they just keep going up, guys. I mean, they say this stuff would start going down. Um, the one thing I will say is that the mixed vegetables, this size portion, which is only 10 ounces. Keep that in mind. That's only 10 ounces. And 9.8 ounces of broccoli cuts there for $1.19. Those are the cheapest ones around. That being said, I will say that Good & Gather frozen vegetables are really good. Now, I hate that they went up in price. These were the cheapest in the city there for the longest time. We were telling everybody to come here, but they raised their prices to 99 cents. These were 79 cents forever. Uh, but the mixed vegetables is really good. The corn's really good. I, well, I like the gold and white corn mix, but 99 cents, I would pick these over Meyer. I know Myers is still 89 cents a bag, but to me, these taste better. I really like Kroger frozen vegetables, but they're $1.25 a bag now. We were getting some comments to check out some fish options, so I thought I would go over some of these here that they have at the Good and Gather. They have the uh, wild caught yellowfin tuna here, $9.99 for this bag. And we've had nothing but good comments on Good and Gather products, keep that in mind. Uh, they have the elastic Alaskan uh, Kita salmon filet here, individually wrapped, wild caught. $19.99 for 24 ounces and they have the Good & Gather Fish Alaska Kita Salmon Filets. What's the difference here? Individually wrapped wild caught. Individually wrapped wild caught. I don't... Oh, is it... Okay. This one's $17.99. Same thing. 24 ounces. I must be missing something here. Maybe a different... Uh, different seasoning. This has like a lemon and asparagus and this has uh, looks like spinach and tomato. I don't know. Kind of weird. They have the 26 to 30 count shrimp of the jumbo raw shrimp here for $9.49. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we can find a little bit of a better deal on that. They do have the large cooked shrimp here though. 41 to 50 count for $8.99. They do have a sale going on on the Gordons. Now we've been seeing Gordons and uh, we didn't see Vandekamp on sale at Meyer, which I was kind of surprised, but we did see some sales at Kroger. Um, they have them even cheaper here than Meyer. Uh, Meyer's $5.99 for these. These are $5.79 here. We got the crunchy breaded fillets here, the beer battered fillets. Uh, let's see, we got some Purdue chicken nuggets. Well, that ain't fish. Well, I've noticed a lot of these Morningstar products have gone up here at Target. You know, these were all $3.99 not that long ago. Now they're $4.99, so they're up a dollar. But again, this was another very cheap place to buy these. Now it's not anymore. They do have a sale on them, $4.50 a piece, uh, two for $9, so it would be $4.50 a piece. Um, I will say this, Target does have a lot of plant-based options, a lot of beyond the burger options. Um, so if, if you're liking these things or if this is what you like, uh, Target, they have a whole aisle dedicated to a lot of these uh, type meals, plant-based. Always getting comments on these Jimmy Dean breakfast products. Just want to point out they are on sale this week. Boy, $5.49. But again, this was another item we were always pointing people to come to Target. This was a weird price too. This was $6.19. 
but they're catching up with everybody else now. $6.99 for a four count. $11.39. That's wrong. $11.39 for an eight count. One of our longtime viewers had asked if I had seen any of the frozen power waffles by Kodiak. Um, no. And this is the this is where I direct I believe I directed you here the last time uh, you'd ask that comment. Um, they are $5.69 now. They were $4.99. Look. Don't believe me, you can even see the old sticker there. They were $4.99 and they are up to $5.69 now. This was the cheapest plate. Now, they, to be fair, they've been going up everywhere. But again, 69 cent, well, really, 70 cent price increase since the last time I checked. Nobody asked about this, but we've gotten a lot of comments in the past on the Uncrustables frozen peanut butter sandwich thingies. They've gone up too. Just notice this four twenty nine. This was another cheaper place to get them at three ninety nine, which really is still expensive. But look at this thirteen thirteen ninety nine now for the what? Okay, fifteen pack thirteen ninety nine. Now I know that's up from twelve ninety nine, so that's gone up a dollar. Gone up a dollar. So much for getting the Idaho and potatoes for $1.29. They have caught up to everywhere else. Every, no, to be fair, everywhere is $1.49 now unless you find these on sale. But I mean, this is, last year these were a dollar all day, dollar a piece. They were 99 cents a piece everywhere. Every store, um, actually, as a matter of fact, the first time we saw them go over a dollar that wasn't on like a sale or something was when Dollar Tree went up to $1.25 on everything. So they were selling these for $1.25 when they were still a dollar at everywhere else. I did happen to notice the Heinz ketchup went up here 20 cents. These were 4.79 for the 38 ounce, now 4.99. You know, if you got a Sam's Club membership, get this at Sam's Club. It is so much cheaper. They do still have their spaghetti for 99 cents. I'm surprised. I, you know, knock on wood, I'm knocking on my head here. Uh, I'm surprised that this hasn't gone up. With everything that seems like it's going up here at Target lately. I'm surprised, but 99 cents. This is good spaghetti. Really is. We really like the Good and Gather brand, and it's still a dollar fifty-nine for two pounds. So you can actually get it for 80 cents a pound if you buy two pounds. Okay, so they have the Good and Gather chicken broth here, and I notice I'm noticing these stickers, right? Okay, new lower price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these because the regular price on this was a dollar thirty-nine the last time I checked, dollar thirty-nine. So. We're going to find out if it's actually lower than that. Uh, they have new lower price here on uh, Broth by Swanson. I noticed they kind of changed their box around too. Two sixty nine. dollars Yeah, I think, that, I think it might have been two ninety nine. I don't know. We're going to check this too. Um, but yeah. yeah, check that, see if they've actually lowered. Because I, I know that was $1.39. I don't know if they just changed the sticker and the same thing. Maybe it was more at another Target. But we're gonna find out. Um, let's see, here's a an okay deal. Got Progresso on soup, just $1.99 a can. No extra purchase or anything required, just a $1.99 on sale. I like seeing these. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wow, this they say this goes on until April 29th, 2023. Wow, you got a well. Eh, looks like they extended their tuna creation sale. I'll tell you what, guys. You know, we probably have a ton of people watching the channel. I'm sure that they're like, oh, Dano's uh, showing all the tuna creations, you know. And, and you can tell, people are buying them up. People are buying them up. Um, <laughs> but I say that because, you know, we're seeing a lot of places that, you know, it's like they'll see a sale here, right? Because we saw even Kroger. Kroger even put a digital coupon on this uh, for $0.77 cents a pack. You could buy up to five times. Don't know if that sale is still going on. We'll have to check here. Uh, when we go to Kroger here in a couple days, but 99 cents a piece, uh, no extra purchase required. We get a lot of comments on these, but they, they were on sale at Kroger, on sale here at Target. They're on some rollback offers at Walmart, so a lot of places are selling these for a dollar right now. And here we have the look at this dollar 29 that went up on the Starkist tuna. That was a dollar 19, dollar 19 regular price, dollar 29 now. However, until March 11th. 2023 they are 99 cents also i wanted to point out these uh tuna creation sale this goes on until march 18th uh 2023 so we have a little while longer this is a new one this they put this yeah so you can see yeah see this one went to 218 if 
February 18th. So this, they've extended this because they're selling them. They do have Del Monte canned vegetables on sale here this week too for $1.25. We've been seeing this sale go uh, pretty much everywhere. Same price at Kroger right now, $1.25 a can. Still buy them at Sam's Club and get them for a little less than a dollar a piece. Uh, unless it's peas. Peas are a little over a dollar a piece now at Sam's. But this goes on until April 1st. So maybe this is a joke. What is not a joke is the Ben's Original Ready Rice here for $2.79. They've been this for a while. This was the cheapest place. Keep in mind... Here at Target, they were the cheapest place to get these for the longest time. They were $1.99 regular price. Uh, this was just a couple months ago, a few months ago. We did see where they went up to $2.49 and then now $2.79. I mean, this just, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's worth it anymore. They do have a, uh, well, let's check this price too. Because this, I feel, yeah. Because see, these were all $1.79. Why are they putting new lower price on here? I don't know. We're going to check this too. So I definitely wanted to check the sugar situation here. Um, there has definitely been a shortage of sugar around Sensei, Ohio. Let us know down in the comments if you have noticed a shortage of sugar. We saw Ed Meyer again yesterday that they were pretty much wiped out. And we've seen at other stores. Uh, we saw at Kroger. It's been a few weeks at Kroger. But we saw where they were pretty wiped out too. And all of these other stores, I don't know. I don't know if there's not a lot coming in. I did just notice that the crystal sugar went up from $249 to $299. So that has finally gone up in price. Honestly, I wonder if that has been $299 for a while and they finally just changed the sticker because it didn't really make a lot of sense before. Which is also kind of funny because we've been seeing sugar prices drop lately. Um, we've seen Kroger sugar drop dramatically. Their uh, cheapest sugar is now two twenty nine dollars for four pounds. Uh, they do got the bread flour here somebody asked about. Uh, it's the King Arthur brand, five ninety nine. dollars uh, They are out of the bigger bags of gold metal. Not too surprised. Gold metal, people are... People are buying it up, even though it's probably one of the, you know, it's it's definitely getting more expensive now. Two thirty nine still for the five pounds of the Good and Gather, uh, and they have the Good and Gather. What is this? Five pounds of whole wheat for two forty nine. Well, that don't sound bad. I remember I checked the prices of the Crisco the last time because I couldn't believe that it was actually five ninety nine. We've been seeing it for right around seven dollars pretty much everywhere. Six forty nine at Kroger. Um, but this is, this is $5.99, $6.29 for the canola. Um, but yeah, if you're having trouble finding us, we've gotten a couple comments where, you know, Crisco's kind of been wiped out. So I guess some people just don't care about the price. And I, I completely understand if you like Crisco, you like Crisco, but, um, Target does have it. So if you have trouble finding it, it, it targets another option. Okay, here we go for the swanson chicken broth 269 okay so that price is right i'm sure they're both right but and you know what i may be wrong on this i don't really check too much but i could have sworn this was a dollar 39 um yeah well okay so dollar 39 i'll say i actually thought that that one might be a little cheaper um but now we've got the rice here which they say is a cheaper price and it's still a dollar 79 so, and I know, I know this was $1.79. This is two pounds. And just to show you guys, I do put the items back. I'm not one of those people that put stuff and just throw them on the shelf. I do put them back. Well, you guys noticed some about the beans here that I just noticed as I was coming to take these back. $1.59. These were $1.29 a bag, making them the last of the cheap Right, good and gather but dry beans, really good. Are these, yeah, yeah, they're one pounds. I was gonna say, like, that one kinda looked like two pounds at first, but yes, these were $1.29, all of them. Now they're $1.59, so each one is up 30 cents from the last time we checked. I'll tell you what, my brain's really struggling with this one. Uh, maybe because, I don't know, maybe they're just, maybe they put an old sticker here. Let's see if we can see what that old sticker was. I think they have one here. Let's see. Okay, well look at that. Okay, so it was a dollar fifty-nine at one time, dollar eighty-nine. Okay, so there was a dollar eighty-nine sticker there. Ah, guys, I'm telling you, this was a dollar seventy-nine. There is no way, because I, I have an identic memory. Dollar fifty-nine was the last price that they had on the two pounds long rice, uh, brown rice, and I know these were both the same price. So I'm right, they're wrong. 
Okay, now I'm curious, and I will put this back together, but I don't know. They didn't remove that other one, but I'm just curious to see. Okay, $1.49. All right. Now, you know what? Yeah, I... So that could have been a dollar forty nine, and I I might have just missed it, but I don't know. It is as you guys know, who've been watching the channel for a long time, know that I'm usually spot on. Okay, yeah, that one was a dollar forty nine too. Okay, so I believe that one, and the rice could have it could have been a deal where it was a dollar eighty nine for a week, and then they lowered the price to a dollar seventy nine uh, because I know those were a dollar fifty nine forever, and then we saw them go up. Uh, we saw them go up with the beans also to from a dollar nineteen to a dollar twenty nine, and they had been a dollar twenty nine forever until now. Check the Swanson here. This was probably I feel like two eighty nine maybe. Look at that, two eighty nine. I was right. I knew it wasn't two ninety nine. I knew it was a, just a tiny bit cheaper than what Kroger's regular price was. Okay, so we've been getting a lot of comments on baby formula lately, and I gotta say, it does look, looks like Target has way more than they had the last time we were here. A lot of this stuff is pulled up front, though, as you can see, this is it. Um, and this is the Up and Up brand. I get a lot of comments on the Gentle Ease by Infamil, and I'll say this all the time. Even if you switch to a cheaper brand of the same stuff, I would still check with your pediatrician. Um, they do have some of the Infamil here, but boy, this is $9.89 for this liquid here. I don't think that would really last too long. Um, I don't see any of the Gentle Ease powder. I know that's the one that uh, people want. They have the Similac Infant. This one, for whatever reason, is $32.99. You really got to look, make sure they're in the right spots. Though. Okay, here's some of the liquid. Somebody asked about the liquid Similac. $9.99 for these. Um, and they have this container, let's see, this is 20.1 ounces for $32.99. They only have one thing of Kendamil, so that tells me one thing. They're not getting much in, and they are selling it, because the last time I was here, this entire top row was filled with Kendamil. And thank you to our UK friends who have been sending this over in our time of need of baby formula, because for whatever reason or another, we just cannot get this together, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Similac here, sensitive, the big can here, 30.2 ounces, still $44.99 here. 40, it went up to $46.99, $46.99 at Kroger. That's crazy. I mean, even $44.99 is a little crazy, but way cheaper than that. Um, the smaller cans are $18.29 here. Surprisingly, still $18.99 at Kroger. So a little cheaper here. More importantly, they're getting a lot more in, but no, I do not see any of the powder gentle ease. We did see some at Meyer. Well, that was our trip to Target. Uh, price increases everywhere. There's no getting around that one. Everything I saw looked like it had gone up in price. It's like, you know, this stuff needs to come down. Like the eggs. Okay, the eggs are $2.29 right now, which is an awesome price, right? I mean, that's a really good price. It's still up 130% from what it was last year, right? Because the eggs were 99 cents for 12 eggs here last year. Now they're uh, 229. So, I mean, it's like, even though we're seeing better prices, we still need it to come down a lot more for it to be very affordable. I always like coming to Target to check out some of these things because last year when we had empty shelves all over the city here, we were directing people to Target because Target was still getting stuff. So, I mean, it is another option. Always good to have options these days. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a big like. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.